Welcome to Halloweeny Wednesdays. This week, Cleopatra, queen of the Nile. I recently went to a costume store and saw a Cleopatra costume on sale for 50 bucks, and it wasn't even that good. So, of course, I decided to make my own. Not only because she's been on my list of women I want to dress up like for a long time, but also because I can rock my new hairdo with this costume and not even have to worry about getting a wig. Plus, Pookie V1017 asked for a Cleopatra costume, Cupcake Mystic and Percy Beth 05 Med asked for an Egyptian goddess costume, and Drinking Your Coffee asked for something made out of sheets. So that's what we're doing. First, I'm going to show how to make Cleo's signature gold armor type accessories. I used faux gold shiny snakeskin I got from the fabric store, and a pattern that's four inches wide by the width of my upper arm plus an inch or so for adding Velcro to close it. Trace the pattern onto the back of the fabric and cut it out times two. Then use a right angle and a sharpie to mark out three equal and equidistant rectangles on the front of the fabric. Geometry. Use acrylic paint and an angled brush to paint in the rectangles. Do two coats of paint to make the black truly solid. Next, E6000 some rhinestones onto the black rectangles. For me, the blue represents lapis lazuli, the revered stone in ancient Egypt. The green represents emeralds, and the amber is amber. Though my nail polish is actually more traditional lapis color. Okay, once your stones are dry, add sticky backed Velcro to opposite ends and sides of each band. Next, use a Mod Podge to seal the edges so they don't fray. This actually works really well. For the collar piece, use a circular object that's a tad wider than your neck and trace around it. For me, it was a margarita glass. Then use a measuring tape and have a friend hold the tape at its end with a thumbtack in the exact middle of the circle. Measure down about 8 inches and use the measuring tape as a guide for creating a bigger circle with tailor's chalk. Use a ruler to mark a line on one side of the circle, then cut it out like so. Then use another circular object, like a lid, to draw a circle around the neck hole. Use your right angle to make a shape on the front and paint it with your acrylic paint. Now glue on some rhinestones in a predetermined pattern. It really helps to lay the rhinestones out before to make sure you have enough of the ones you want to use. Do the Mod Podge treatment to the edges and the collar is done. For the loincloth type piece, Use the right angle and a circular object, like a plate, to mark out a shape like this. Cut it out, fold over the edge, and glue it down along the edge to create a belt loop. Next, mark out an area on the front with a sharpie and paint it in. Cut a strip of gold fabric long enough to go around your waist, give it the Mod Podge treatment, feed it through the belt loop, and add Velcro to the ends. Now map out a rhinestone pattern and start from the middle gluing it onto the front of the loin piece. And we are done with the armor pieces. For the signature cobra headpiece, I'm using some stretchy gold sequin trim. Cut a piece long enough to go around your head, then glue the ends together. Hypnotize a cobra and behead it with an X-Acto knife. Once the head is severed, even up the bottom a bit and spray paint it gold. Next, glue some crystals to the eye area and glue it to the rhinestone band on top of the part where you glued it together. You may have to hold it in place for a bit to dry, but once it's dry, it'll be good and on there. Lastly, glue some rhinestones on either side of the snake head and the headpiece is done. For the white dress, I'm using an old sheet from the thrift store. Wrap the sheet around you like this and mark out the points where the sheet meets itself underneath your armpits. This is where the Velcro is going to go and this is where you'll cut the sheet for size. Once you cut the sheet, fold it in half and draw a curved line starting from the point you marked at the top to the bottom depending on how long you want it. Cut along the curved line, then place the sheet as it would be when you're wearing it and stick on your Velcro. Then again, I did the Mod Podge treatment to the edges to prevent fraying. And guess what? Your costume's done. Total for my costume was about 25 bucks. And it's worth its weight in DIY originality gold.